Clare had never won two qualifier matches in the same season, but came to Markovich Park full of confidence after coming from behind to beat Leash last weekend. Sligo, who recorded their biggest qualifier win after defeating neighbours Leitrim by 11 points last time out, also had high hopes of booking a place in the last 12. Sligo had a strong breeze behind them in the opening half and points like this one from Adrian Marin helped them into a nearly lead. Owen Cleary got Clare's opening three points, reacting quickly when David Tuberty's free hit an upright to keep the bannermen in touch. But then Clare got a penalty when Tuberty followed up his own lofty effort and was fouled by Neil Ewing. Tuberty kept his composure to dispatch the penalty to the net. But then there was a big setback for Clare when dual star Podge Collins picked up a black card. Sligo led by nine points to 1-4 at the break, but Clare took over after the restart and hit a string of points to draw level, before this point from Tuberty put them in front for the first time in the game after 46 minutes. They pushed on from there with midfielder Cahal O'Connor shooting four points in an outstanding display. And his midfield partner Gary Brennan then sealed the win when he soloed through to blast home this excellent goal ten minutes from time. Sligo never gave up and substitute Pat Hughes gave them a glimmer of hope when he found the net. But Clare finished in style and Keelan Sexton, a Leaving Cert student last month, notched his third point after coming on. It finished Clare 217, Sligo 113. They got a penalty um, out of the blue really, it was against the run and play which gave them a lifeline again and uh, we struggled then in the second half, you know, in fairness they took over in midfield um, and, and we just struggled with that. There's a tremendous bunch of players there, they're very talented and um, you know, I think that they can achieve a lot more um, it's just a matter of um, asking themselves the questions and I think they will. So we're delighted, delighted for any young fella playing football in Clare. It was a glorious afternoon at Kingspan Breffney Park on Saturday as Cavan and Derry locked horns for the fourth ever time in the All Ireland qualifiers. Both teams had beaten Leinster opposition seven days earlier, and it was Derry who struck first courtesy of James Keel's point from an acute angle. Cavan didn't take long to reply, and they would kick the next three scores, including this Darren McVitie point to finish off a fine move. Soon after, Derry got the game's opening goal when a dangerous high ball from Kieran McFall was superbly punched on by Emma McGuckin and Derry were back in front. The hosts were the better side for the majority of the first half and they replied with five of the next six points. This effort from captain Garode McKiernan keeping them in control. Cavan were four points in front when they were reduced to 14 men. Fergal Flanagan and Derry's Mark Lynch were involved in an off-the-ball altercation and it's this incident which saw Flanagan see red. Derry's comeback against Mead the previous week had been well documented and they kicked three at the first four points after the restart, including this Mark Lynch score. For the majority of the second half, the swirling breeze had changed to Derry's favour, but that didn't stop Cavan restoring a four-point lead through Conor Moyna. Cavan's cause in this match was greatly helped by the free-taking of goalkeeper Ray Galligan, and his third score of the match kept him in front. Damien Barton's most influential substitution was undoubtedly Niall Toner, and only superb save from Galligan denied him a goal. Derry were in full flow now, and they would soon be leading in this match. Cavan were very much under the cosh at this stage and they needed this Dara McVitie point to draw a level with four minutes remaining. The Derry second half dominance wasn't done with yet and three further points including this injury time Mark Lynch score looked to have them pass the winning line. However, Cavan were given one last chance. Jack Brady lobbed a free goal words, but their much needed goal would only result in a point for Jared Smith. So it's Derry who move into the last 12 at the expense of a heartbroken Cavan. Full-time score from Kingspan Breffney Park, Derry one goal and 17 points, Cavan 18 points. One of the late, obviously uh, the game went pretty similar to last week where we didn't play to our full potential in the first half but thankfully we, we came out in the second half and, and played some great football 
and thankfully got the result. Well, I'm disappointed for the players that we didn't uh, see it out. I thought we were good enough at times that we'd, we would get the victory out of it, but in fair play to Derry, you have to say that they come back at a strong in the second half and a full value for their victory. How much of a, of a boost did that sending off give you just before the break when maybe Cavan had the momentum? Oh, definitely. Uh, it gave us an opportunity to, to regroup and we really pushed up man to man and with the sweeper at the back doing a lot of attacking, uh, I felt that, that it, it really gave us the impetus, you know, and uh, it, it obviously worked, you know, because we had kicked 13 great second half points. That's a great return. Well done, Derry Aaron. You were at the game. Was the sending off pivotal? I, it was, definitely. Um, it, was, it was silly from Fergal Flanagan, um, on call for...